Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, canvas painter, fixing the original button. Our original button is now slightly broken because the effect it renders doesn't match our new freeform drawing, which takes the movement of the mouse into account. It just draws fixed size circles. Let's fix the original button then. We have a do this in the event handler function for the original button. Change the value used for the radius from a fixed value to the same thing calculated for the freeform drawing. Since you wrote a function to do this calculation, it should be easy to call it from the code as well. The slight difference will be that you'll be looping over the array of events. So the line of code that draws the circle might look like the one below. This line of code certainly is a mouthful, but it's basically the same line of code in your mouse move event handler. It just references the event in the list instead. We have an example right here. That makes sense. Our program now works as the quicker you go, the smaller the circle, and the slower you go, the bigger the circle. That means we're changing the radius. Our original button though, that references our original radius of just five. Let's test this out. I'm gonna hit run. Let's just draw a line here. When I hit random, I should get random circle sizes, and I am. When I hit original, now all of my circles should be the same radius because that's what I'm saying in my original event handler. Looks like I am correct. We went back to all uniform circles. Hmm. Finally, test your program to confirm that clicking on the original button creates the same effect that occurs when doing a free form drawing. Looks like we have an example down here. They're writing out a word. Looks like the word is going to be, hey, hello code.org. They are hitting the original button and it goes back to the original actor random. Well, this doesn't sound too bad. I think all I really need to do is to put this dot radius line of code here where my five is. This code right here references the event list movement X and movement Y used for my dot radius function. That means I am not pulling the original numbers for the array. I am pulling the event list stored for the dot radius. What's that going to look like? Let's delete our five. We're going to put dot radius. This is calling our function. Now we need to add a parenthesis. That is going to be event list bracket. What's inside the bracket? I. That's in the X direction, so movement X. That is for just the X direction. We need to do the Y direction, so another event list brackets inside the bracket in I dot movement Y. We should have two parentheses and a semicolon. I think this code is now going to access our new array instead of the original, and that new array stores information based off of how quick or slow we're moving the mouse. Let's see if that's what happens. Run. Let's just draw a line to test it out. Hit random. Get a bunch of random ones. When we hit original, we should get our original drawing. That looks pretty close to me. Let's start over. Let's draw the grade we're all going to get on this lesson. Randomize it. When I hit original now, we should get the original picture. That looks like I remember it. I think our code's working properly here, kids. Looking back to our do this, we changed the value we use for radius in our circle command. Then we tested our program to make sure it actually produces the original drawing, not just the same of a radius of five. Hmm, very fun lesson, kids. I think that's all code.org wants. Let's see if they want anything else. 
Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.